I want us to notice something from this piece of scripture. Jesus' desire to hear what people thought of him did not come from a fleshly place. It was not birthed out of insecurity. Some of you, you want to know what people think of you in moments when you are insecure. Jesus knew what God thought of him and he knew what he thought of himself. So, so this question is not sponsored by insecurity. This question is not sponsored or birthed out of ego. He's not trying to pump up his ego. You know, sometimes people will ask you, who do you think I am? Because they want you to confirm and affirm something because they want it. They want that thing to do something to their ego. Some people will ask you, who do you think I am? Because they, uh, they, 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 they want to know what people are saying about them. They want to know what the articles in the newspapers are saying about them. They want you to know what press is covering about them because they want to boost their ego. This question was also not a cry for help. Some, sometimes when people come to you and they're asking you for affirmation, it's a cry for help. It is not a sign of inadequacy from Jesus to ask, who do people think I am? It was actually a show of good leadership from a man who had vision, who had been sent on assignment. God knew who Jesus was. Jesus knew who Jesus was. And he was trying to understand if he was communicating what God has sent him to communicate clearly. It was birthed from a place of prayer.